I'm Mama Mouse Cynthia, and these are my two mini mice. I'm Anissa. I'm Sienna. Happy Friday, July 27th, everyone. The weekend is here. Um, we just want to say for those of you listening to our podcast, you can also watch us on YouTube and Facebook. And during our live show on Fridays, as well as throughout the week, we interact with all our Instagram followers in real time. So make sure you guys are following us at the mini mice. <laughs> don't so, miss out. Yeah, don't, yeah, miss, don't out. miss out. You don't want to miss out because we have a lot of We have of so fun. much fun with all of our like followers. Oh, yeah. I think that's where we have the most interactions are during the week, during our lives. Um, and we make a lot of our friends that way, too. So don't yeah. miss out because we have fun. Don't be crusty, guys. Yeah, don't be crusty. Don't be crusty. Okay, so <laughs> getting on to news. We started this week by celebrating my daddy's birthday. Um, as all you guys know, um, I appreciate everybody's... Um, um, my post this week, I appreciate everybody's uh, DMs and, and your me- messages and comments and condolences and, and just support. Everything has just been wonderful. Uh, for those of you that don't, that don't know, uh, my father passed away last year. Um, he was the one who started me on my Disney journey uh, and gave me my love and passion for it. Um, I would have liked to have spent the day in the parks that day, but um, I was not able to because it was a little bit hard to function that day. But I got through it, um, but we did, however, get to go to Disneyland this week uh, with my mom, who's visiting, Um, so we got to celebrate him all together yesterday in the parks, and um, my job as his daughter and their grandchildren, his granddaughters, is to make sure we always keep his spirit alive in us, and that will continue to live on in us um, till we see him again. So, getting right on to park news. Uh, First off, let's get right into Bing Bong Sweet Stuff Confectionery, which opened last Saturday. Uh, We got to explore it a few times this week, and we have already noticed a few changes on opening day. Um, There were a few hiccups. Um, (laughs) The opening day, we went in and we had, uh, what did we have, Sienna? We had the Imaginary Pal. Yes. Oh, if... Isn't that one the most popular, too? It if, was, no, the well, Rainbow no, Unicorn. I think going is, into it is the Rainbow Unicorn. The Rainbow Unicorn, I hear that's mm-hmm. the best one. The Imaginary Pal, I didn't like it too much. It was like having a normal slush. They ran out of... They didn't have really anything that they said they would have. They didn't have pink lemonade, and they didn't have grape soda. The right. slush was, I think, blue and cher- uh, blue raspberry and cherry... Yeah, and then their machines weren't working as well, so some of the stuff came out more watery than, yeah. than slush-like, <laughs> which was kind of disappointing. Um, but, I mean, I know throughout the week they've gotten a lot better. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah. Um, during the week they've gotten a lot better, and the drinks have gotten better. And even, like, what, what, what made me want to get the imaginary pal the most was just the description of it with topped with um, cotton the cotton candy, yeah. and then it said that it was going to have a marshmallow flower on top. I was thinking it was going to be like this big old marshmallow flower covering the top, but no, it wasn't. It was like the consistency of wax paper. It was super thin. It was super, super thin and probably mm-hmm. about that small. You know, they, they literally got me. Um, so, got them. <laughs> um, Let's just I say was it looks really, really like that. I was really disappointed, to be honest. I, I expected more. And the cotton candy, the second they put it on the top, it literally disintegrated into disintegrated. The <laughs> like it just it just disappeared. It absorbed it. Yo, so Thanos fast. Thanos went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanos took control over it for sure because it well, was gone. That's because the slushies are super watery. It was like everything wasn't good because of the things that were happening. Like, mm-hmm. okay, they didn't have a certain flavor okay then the machines broke which made it watery which made the, the cotton candy melt right in right because i've seen people i've seen pictures disintegrate <laughs> disintegrate <laughs> okay maybe bad choice of words sorry but um i've seen it's people's gone. pictures since where they're posting and it actually looks really cute still disappointed with the size of the the flower marshmallow on the top but you can actually see the cotton candy sitting on top and then they put the flower on top of the cotton candy and it looked prettier yeah. um did not look, I mean, mine was seriously sad. <laughs> so um, I won't be getting that one again. But, but the one I do want to get is the... Rainbow Unicorn. Yes. I hear that one is the best one. Um, it's every single flavor there with nerds inside. Yeah, it's topped with nerds. I also want to try the, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the 
Bonnet the Boba. Oh, it's the Ooh, sadness I want to try one, that one. I think. The sadness. Yeah, yeah, it's the sadness one. Blue. It's like blue raspberry with um, boba on the bottom. <laughs> Either way, we're, we all have plenty of time to try it. Bing Bongs isn't going anywhere. Um, so, anyways, more park news. It's back. The wildest ride in the wilderness. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad made its return from refurbishment today. Yeah. Um, can't tell you how happy I'm about that. How happy I am about that. She's too happy. She I'm can't so even happy. say it. I'm too fumbling happy. over my words. Um, we all know that is my favorite so ride in the park. Um, it is, yes. And it's the best. I love it. It's my For favorite. Years, I try to go on it as much as I possibly can. So um, I, it's I'm i so happy. Anissa, all those people on the ride are shook. Literally <laughs> shook. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Disney announced this week that the holidays are coming. Um, well, we all know Woo-hoo. the holidays are coming. But um, Disney announced this week that holidays at the Disneyland Resort returns November 9th. Um, with that comes Festival of Holidays, which we love, um, yes. a Christmas fantasy parade, of and of course, the beautiful Sleeping Beauty's Winter Castle. Um, we love how I they just the best part. drench, <laughs> it, it almost seems drenched, but like drench the castle drenched, with lights. Drenched, disintegrated. I mean, it's so <laughs> Why are y'all picking on my words this week? God, Stop. Thanos, what's this one? Why called? are you guys tugging on my words? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, anyways, later. I'm excited. And, like, I really do enjoy a festival of holidays because who doesn't love food? Oh, that's an I so. like love food, so. Who yeah, we're excited for that. Like. Um, we also learned this week that during um, the Disney uh, Parks live stream of Paint the Night this week, um, the Paint the Night Parade and the Pixar Play Parade will be sticking around after September 3rd, uh, which Woo. was the Pixar Fest, Pixar Fest end date. Um, there's still no word on the Together Forever Fireworks Spectacular, um, but we will be keeping our fingers crossed that that one stays as I'm well. I'm still bitter that that one hasn't announced to stay, because I barely found out that it was going away, and my mood changed instantly Yeah, when I found out that it wasn't staying. I know. It's like the best part of this whole Pixar stuff, like I know. the fireworks. Oh, the fireworks are hands down my favorite part of the whole Pixar fest, for sure. But I mean, I know Paint the Night, everybody's loving Paint the Night right now, and it's fun, and it's exciting, and it's beautiful to see. Um, so I'm glad that it's sticking around. That's really good. Um, the Pixar Play Parade is cute. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but Paint the Night, I like a little bit more. Um, a couple more refurbishments hitting the parks starting next week. Um, starting Monday, July 30th, Pinocchio's Daring Journey will be down till August 3rd. Um, I know, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we really go on anymore. No. I mean, well, we do. Dad, like, it's fun. It's feel. nostalgic. I, it's definitely nostalgic, but um, it's coming right back. It's not going to be gone for long. Um, Matterhorn bobsleds are going to be down starting July 30th, also, which is Monday. Um, till August 23rd is the estimated date. It's so we will bring that to you if we hear more on that. Also, don't forget the intent, enchanted... Boy, I'm having trouble talking today. Enchanted... The Enchanted Tiki Room, or the Tiki Room, will be closed starting August 6th. With Hopefully an, forever. <laughs> Hope with forever. an unknown return date. Oh. Uh, I mean... I'm just kidding. I know, and I'm sorry. Save the, save the DMs. Um, but we, we had never taken the girls in there before until probably, what, last year was the first time we went in? Two years ago. Probably Two years longer. ago? I don't know. But we're, we just, let's just try it. And the girls were like, okay, we never have to do that again. So safe to say it was not their favorite. Our so. Auntie Rita, she was so excited to go in there because she hadn't been in forever. She had remembered loving it as a kid. And when she got out after it was over, she was like, why did I do that? That wasn't <laughs> even fun. How did I used to like why? this? It's Honestly. an acquired taste for sure. Um, but, I mean, some people love it. And, I mean, good for them. More power for them. More power to them. Um, also in Disney news, Photo Pass Day is coming Sunday, August 19th. Uh, during this day-long celebration of photography in the Disney parks, you'll discover creative and fun photo ops throughout, throughout the parks. Um, as it is, you already know that there's a lot of, I mean, there's a ton of photo ops in, in the parks. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's Disneyland. You want to take pictures of everything, but there's going to be particular things that, they, that will be out in the parks on that day. So make sure you take advantage. 
Um, breaking news today, Disney and Fox shareholders have voted to approve the $71.3 billion merger oh of the God. two companies, marking another step closer to Marvel Studios introducing the X-Men and Fantastic Four into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I know there are a lot of people that wow. are really excited about that. Um, and we know that with Marvel Land coming, this is kind of a big deal. So mm -hmm. that's so good. Um, we also learned this morning that Disneyland Resort workers approved contract that raises the minimum hourly wage for cast members effective immediately. As of this morning, their pay is now thirteen twenty-five, and starting January first, goes up to fifteen dollars. Uh, congratulations to all our well-deserved cast members. Um, we know that there are many well-deserved cast members out there, so we're happy for them. Uh, speaking of cast members, we have come in contact with so many um, over the years that we've been going to Disney um, who make magic happen daily. I mean, we're constantly getting magic moments from cast members and I mean, everybody is so sweet and so loving. I mean, you shouldn't, they you can be, you don't have to be loving, but they are, they're, they're, they're definitely taking their job seriously in the sense where they know where they work. They know that Disneyland is about magic, and they love making magic happen. People and take their job too seriously. Oh, yeah. Disneyland is like, Sometimes why are you here? People take like some people do like the seriousness of making the magic happen, mm -hmm. like that kind of serious of doing their job mm -hmm. of Dis working at Disney. But some people take it like too. Like, well, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. There's cast members who truly are, like, love what they do, yeah. and they embody the spirit of Disney. And some people um, are just mean. On the other hand, though, sadly you get the very few that unfortunately aren't so magical. Mm -hmm. um, we just this week had a very unfortunate cast member mishap. Disney villains of the park. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he was definitely not so magical. Um, we, I mean, you see the plaids all the time and they're usually escorting you know, the celebrities or the, the rich. And he's so magical. But, that's um, the one we know. That we saw. Know. That's him. That's him. That's not the one that we're about to talk about. But we did have an incident this week with a cast member that was pretty unfortunate. And um, I'll let Anissa tell it since it affected her probably the most. Well, yeah. Okay, so we saw, I actually didn't see, but we saw Selena Gomez like walking towards us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I missed it. And then my mom was like, oh my God, that was Selena Gomez. And I'm like, don't say that. Like, I'm just thinking like Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> my the whole like song? the childhood memories. And I'm just like, we have to go back. I have to say hi. I have to at least see her, or get a picture, a picture of her. her. I probably won't get one with her, but I've seen her take pictures with lots of fans. So I'm like, okay, I know she's nice. Maybe I'll get one. I don't know. I'll get lucky. And she was walking into Toy Story? Toy Story. Midway Mania. Yeah, Midway Mania. And um, we literally were just at the exit. We weren't even, we didn't even follow her. We she didn't just, see we us. At the we exit. weren't we even were outside, we, outside, the outside exit, of it. Like, like, we just waited for like a minute. And then the cast member like comes out and he's walking towards us. And then he just kind of tells us the plaid cast member. Yeah. He was like, um, I'm only going to tell you guys once. But I saw you following my guest, and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And if you don't, I'm going to call security. And we were like, what? <laughs> I mean, I literally okay. looked at him like, are you confusing us with somebody else? Because we haven't been I was what like, are you I talking about? Following her. Like, literally, we were standing at a safe distance. We were at least 30 to 40 feet away from her. Um, we were outside the exit, not at the exit, and we were not the only ones standing there. I mean, people we see a celebrity, only... and they swarm, and they want to catch a glimpse, and we were just fans being fans, hoping, you know, that maybe Anissa will get a chance there to see her. There were multiple people, and we were the only ones that we were told were something. We were the only ones that were told anything. Nobody else was told anything. His comment was directed to us. He lacked tact. Um, he was very harsh and honestly, like we were all in a really, really good mood and he killed the vibe that night. He was like, like literally killed it. He could have been sweeter. Nicer. He could have been, he could have been nice. He could have addressed it differently and he did not. He was like, I like, nope. I'm going to call he security. He was mean about it. I'm like, had it been Chris Pratt, I probably would have swung. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to see my man. So, I mean, <laughs> good thing Jose is in a red blood. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good thing. Cause. All right. Well, that's our, that's our, t that's what happened okay. to us this Say week. Say it again. <laughs> but 
I mean, that was one bad experience. Um, for the most part, we have an amazing um, time with cast members. In fact, I mean, we were walking through Paint the Night, I want to say like a week ago, and the cast members that are taking over, or the ones that are um, guiding people through Paint the Night, like, you know, guiding the traffic, they know they're dancing, and they just start dancing with you. Like, literally, like, we were right in front of them, and we were, like, dancing together. They're so fun. There's so many yeah. fun, fun cast members that, I mean, we love them. So, yeah. like I said, one bad apple does not spoil the bunch. It I mean, usually does spoil the bunch, but not at Disney. I mean, even we love Anissa's cast members. Da dating I'm a dating cast a cast member. member. <laughs> like, Anissa is dating a cast member, so <laughs> that is true. That she is true. really loves cast members. Yep. Okay, so not park news, what but it is Disney. August 1st to the 26th in Sherman Oaks, California, there will be a pop-up event called That's From Disney. Um, here you'll be able to get a look at many Disney artifacts, past and present, with an auction starting on August 24th. So if you want to own a doom buggy or a rocket rod, this is your chance. So um, you can go on, you can find them on social media at That's From Disney. And you'll be able to see everything they're gonna be having, or they're gonna have to offer. Um, Anissa for... freaked out because I had showed her you can actually buy the Dumbo. You can buy the Dumbo <gasps> elephant. That's one of the I things that's Dumbo gonna be elephant. up for auction. And then the only other one I saw was the Matterhorn bobsled. Mm -hmm. I would honestly swoop on that Dumbo. But can you can imagine? Be my chandelier. How it's much? gonna be my chandelier. <laughs> the auction starts at five hundred dollars. Why isn't that a dollars? lamp? Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I, I'm sure. Imagine if that was really like hung up in someone's house, like a Dumbo. A big old Dumbo. <gasps> but nobody Lisa, steal my no, idea. <laughs> imagine if like they had one of those baby wheel things of the Dumbo going in a circle. Oh, I've already planned my kid's nursery, so. <laughs> That'll be the nursery. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, this just in today, Star Wars news. Sianna, you want to go and read that one? Okay, news hit today that Star Wars Episode Nine will begin filming at London's Pinewood Studios on August 1st, 2018. For all the latest info, go to d23.com. Yeah. I am so excited. I love Star Wars so much. We'll be able to see where it left off, where Ray and, uh, what was the ending scene? Ray and uh, who? Let's not give it away. Not, I'm just kidding. Some people haven't seen it. Oh, well, I'm sure everyone's seen the last one. Okay, never yeah. mind, people. I won't be saying anything. All right. Some um, people still haven't seen Coco, so I mean, that's guys, from Disney or that's I'm sorry, from but hmm. Vader's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but Luke Skywalker is a character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but Chewie's not human. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get right into food news now, and we all know whose favorite, favorite part that is. That's gonna go to Anissa. Yes. Okay, so um, we had the chance to be able to try. A couple days ago, the Mexican pot de <laughs> pot de crust. <laughs> <Pot de crème. laughs> I, I know don't the know. Words, Mom. I just no, I just pot thought it was like. Is it? it pot de la crème? I was like, wait, I'm not pot gonna say this crème. wrong. Um, it was good. It wasn't amazing. It, but was, it was good, good. but you have that to was, eat it had a little Miguel, lemon. right? It had the Miguel yeah. chocolate on top. I, I'll be honest, like I was really excited to try this because it's chocolate. I love chocolate. Um, the first bite and a half were actually really, really good. After that, it became too rich for me. It was crazy rich. I don't think it was that bad. It was good. I, I didn't it. like the horchata. Oh, yeah. They didn't. We got that along with the horchata slush, and they did not like it. It, it didn't even taste okay, like horchata. It tasted weird. I didn't really like it. I think it did. I mean, it's good. I, well, the first, first time well, we had like it, my husband and I tried it. Also. Well, that's delicious. That's why. Um, we really, really enjoyed the, or the, the horchata slush when we first had it, um, but this time that I had it with the girls, I want to say it tasted different. Um, I don't remember, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the first time, so I don't know if my taste buds changed since then, or they just didn't make it right this time, they just made it different, I don't know, but okay, moving on. I don't know. Anyways, there are new menu items. Um, so there's a new menu item at the Golden Horseshoe in Frontierland. There's uh, chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches, two Ooh. per order with vanilla ice cream mm. drizzled with caramel and chocolate sauce. That sounds yeah. good. I think that sounds awesome. That sounds really good. Because they only have like the Nestle, the Nestle ones. Mm -hmm. and they're not even. No, this one sounds really good. This one sounds bomb. Um, also, Riverbell Terrace is now serving breakfast, mm. which is really cool because... Yeah. 
There's that's not in, very many there's not very many places um, to eat selections. I mean, there are some, but they're it's not as much as dinner items. So yeah. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. The only but, good ones are like specialty places, mm-hmm. that like aren't most likely not in the parks. Well, there are some in the parks that. Well, I mean, like at purpose. hotels. Yeah. That's but true. we're gonna our, our options are getting a lot bigger now, which is exciting. Oh well, yeah. Here are the new breakfast menu items. Um, short rib skillet. <laughs> okay, that sounds, sounds fun. <laughs> right um, southern fried bone in pork chop. Country biscuits and gravy. Mm. That sounds bomb. Uh, Becky, Becky Thatcher's. Fat- <laughs> Thatcher's. <laughs> Thatcher's fried green tomato. Mm-hmm. Mickey shaped uh, pancakes. Ooh. Granola and mixed berry parfait. Ooh. Southern sweet skillet. Monkey bread and seasonal oats. Ooh. Those all sound really sounds bomb. Sounds really good. But you can check it out online for full descriptions of each entree item. So. Yum. That sounds That'll delicious. Um, another new menu item, there's, which honestly, yeah, I'm excited. No, I'm not. But my mom <laughs> might be excited for this. I don't know. <laughs> but there's a new margarita in town, everyone. The She'll new pineapple margarita from Cocina, she Cucamonga, Mexican Grill on Pacific Wharf in DCA. I mean. Looks refreshing and delicious, y'all. <laughs> there's nothing for me to be I'm excited like, about. Yeah, it looks good, I guess. I'm like, okay, mom, You should be excited it. because it'll put mom in a better mood. At Disney, when it's hot. <laughs> like the watermelon lemonade would? Mm, just a little bit different. But yeah. She'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> no. There's also going to be Sprinkles Cupcakes in downtown <laughs> Disney. So <laughs> it's released a new cupcake this week. Uh, wait, sorry. I just thought about it for a second. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure it's an acquired taste. A but quai? Qu- <laughs> quai. it's a fluffy vanilla cake. Fil- this is where it sounds okay, but then Ooh, you're about to like you're about to lose your mind, people. Hold with on. flaming hot Cheetos topped with creamy white cheddar frosting, Ooh. dusted with hot Cheetos. Ew. But hurry, don't hurry, because it won't <laughs> last long. Good. According to Sprinkles Instagram, <laughs> it's only here till tomorrow. Yes, Darn. it's a three day, it's a limited release of three days of this. So stay this home tomorrow. Cupcake. Um, I've seen people already post it online and they're saying it's like mm. a guilty pleasure. Um, I would try it. I'm just like, oh, I, would I don't it. know that it would be a guilty pleasure. I think it's um, just a guilty did you get a chance to pull no, it up? It. No, I. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. I it's. Know. I don't know, guys. I mean, for those of you who are adventurous eaters, there it is. This is definitely the cupcake for you. I would. I ask. mean, not only is it just topped with and f- topped and filled with flaming hot Cheetos, but the frosting is white cheddar. That's like, the part that weirds me out. Like, grosses me out. Yeah. The Cheetos I would be cool with. Anissa, can I please get a hot Cheeto cupcake without the hot Cheetos and without the cheese? Just give me a cupcake. Can I just get the cupcake <laughs> Just give part? me a vanilla cupcake. Can I just get the... I'm sorry. Can I, I just, just get the fluffy cupcake? I, vanilla can I now. just get the... It seems like yeah, a fair cupcake. Like one that you'd get at the fair, <laughs> but not at Sprinkles. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if those of you who have tried it, um, let us know. Like DM us if, you, if you're going to try it and you do try it. Dm us a picture of you with your cupcake and let us know, you know what you thought of funny? it the one thing that you guys think is weird is the cheddar and that's the one thing I would actually try ooh cheddar ooh. frosting no, no, no well no. you don't like spicy that's why well I like yeah. cheddar well I do too but not as a frosting mm, well what if yeah. you just have a frosting like on bread I don't know <laughs> no 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 okay, okay we're gonna get on be a cheese burrito. <laughs> All right, moving on. We're going to get into our podcast questions, our short or as questions. as a churro dipping. Okay, we're done. Yes, um, we're done Before I let's, Yeah, let's cute. pass. Oh, the caliente churro with the dip of the See, churro. Okay. Hot churro is a lot different than hot Cheetos and sweet. I'm sorry, but okay. Anyways, um, moving on. A uh, big thank you to everybody who participated this week in the lives and gave us your or submitted your, your show questions. We really appreciate it. Um, as always, and we'll have Sienna go ahead and start reading them off. Okay, Cool Girl 24747 asked, What do you think of the new Bing Bong store? Do you think it should have more candy than merchandise? 
Um, I'm okay with it having merchandise. Um, I honestly wasn't expecting so much of it, um, to be honest with you. When I went in there, I yeah. was surprised to see it that much merchandise in the store. I was surprised with merchandise in general. Me too. I honestly expected just this full-blown giant candy store. Um, I mean, but the merchandise is fun. It's cool. Um, there are some really cute things in there. I do think it could have had um, a little bit more candy offerings. And yeah. the one thing I'm actually really disappointed in is there's not a bigger selection, one, of cotton candy. And two, I expected like fresh cotton candy, like being made right there in Boy. front of you. And they didn't. It had like a little thing, a little stand kind of towards um, where the registers were with cotton candies already in a bag. Yeah. And, and the cotton candy has the... sprinkles on it. But that's it. Like, I think it would have been so much nicer and so much more fun and so much truer to who Bing Bong was if you had an actual cotton candy, like live cotton candy maker, like right there making you cotton, fresh cotton candy. That's my opinion. But, yeah. well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh. I was just surprised they had so much merch. I don't, and there was merch that had nothing to do with Bing Bong. There was like incredible shirts. And, and Coco too. And yeah, I was um, like, why? Finding yeah. Nemo. Yeah. I just think they really could have gone more out with that. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, now that I think and about it. And they really yeah. should have done fresh cotton candy mm -hmm. or had way more, like, everywhere, but they didn't. But it was cute. Yeah. It's super cute. It's definitely super cute. And the floor has the candy pieces all on the floor, um, which is representative of, of Bing Bong crying. No, I'm in love made of candy. with like, the yeah. whole setup. They were all, like, beautiful. decorated as candy. Yeah, and what was your opinion, okay. Sianna? Now that I hear your guys', I'm actually disappointed with um, the cotton candy part because I wish that, um, like, the cotton candy on the Imaginary Pal, it shouldn't be the rainbow cotton candy. It should be just pink, mm -hmm. like Bing Bong. I didn't like how it was, they only sold one cotton candy flavor. Yeah, you know what they could have done? Oh, they should yeah. have made the bag Bing Bong's outfit and then the cotton oh, candy be pink. That is such Why a good don't idea. I work for Disney? Like honestly, that, no, that is actually wouldn't that clever. be cool? Disney, you guys, come on, <laughs> let's go right now. Someone hire me. That, I was just thinking about it. That's a good idea. That really is a good idea. Yeah. Or have like character. No, me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, like character bags. Like you said, like a, a Bing Bong one or the emotions. You know, like the sadness, disgust, all these characters, and then you but, fill them up with the, your choice of cotton, fresh cotton candy. No, you know what they should have done? Wait, now that I'm thinking about this, okay, wait. Oh, or for the they rainbow unicorn done... cotton candy, it should mm -hmm. be the rainbow unicorn. Yeah. There's yeah. The, they could have went I'm so many think, different actually. ways. I'm actually, the no, more I, I think like about my it, bag I'm idea. disappointed. My bag idea is okay, pretty cool. Okay, well, continuing to what I was saying, okay. the other one I was, the other thing I was disappointed with is that in all the drawings, it had that big bing bong where the clown used to be on the Pixar pier, mm -hmm. I mean the Paradise pier, there was supposed to be a big bing bong there, like a big like statue of him like flying on the on the, his cart mm -hmm. or his wagon and they didn't have that I was disappointed with that. Oh, yeah, I, they actually, should have had it, like... Yeah, well, you know how they have Bing Bong on the outside up top of the sign that where it says Bing oh, Bong Sweet right. Stuff? There's a Bing Bong sticking out, and we were there on opening day with uh, another Instagrammer, Disney, wherever we may go. And Disneyland Eddie. And Disneyland Eddie, and we were talking about how everything is so bright and vibrant in the store itself <clears throat> that the actual bing bong sticking out looks really worn and it's, it looks dirty and old. It's not vibrant or like, like I don't know, ball. it just looks really sad. It should, like the germ ball, the germ ball should have been more bright and vibrant. And like it's the Pixar not. Ball. It should have looked more like the Pixar ball, yeah, which it did not. The bing bong had like brown on it because it was made of wood, but they didn't do that good with it. Yeah, Honestly, I, I think they could have made Bing, Bing Bong look a little bit. They more should have lively. had like the lights, like all different colors surrounding it, and then at night, like it goes like that, like oh, the. Yeah. And they should have had like a photo up where you can sit inside his wagon in the front. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, then they should have. Oh, Disney, I hope you're listening. The These lights, are great ideas. The lights, <laughs> like you said, Anissa, the lights should have been like, like. Spheres? Like the and then they were memories. memories. That's what I'm saying. They were oh each yeah. Memories. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Would have been so cool. Yep. Okay. Next question. Or like, what if, sorry, never mind. No, go ahead. I was just thinking like, 
what if they made you like they had someone okay inside and okay wait oh like a core no, no, no. you know how, you know you how like people are it? right there with you like on like when you're doing build-a-bears like uh-huh. what about they did that with candy like you have to sing like who's your friend and like play and oh, then like the sugar yeah. would come out or something if oh. they're feeling like See, that sounds so fun. Wouldn't that be fun? That would definitely bring people in. It'd and be there an would actual, be lines like, for that. Like, it could have been so for, the ex- wow. for the experience alone. Yeah. Like, there's an episode of what's, I know this is totally not Disney, but um, Friends? it's that show that you like <laughs> where the guy starts the, they open up their companies and their businesses, and there's a candy guy. And that candy guy gets right in there with the kids when they're building their candies and making their candies, and he tells a story behind the candy. Wouldn't it be so much fun? It's that guy that's always wearing the, the prophet. There oh, we I go. love the prophet. Yeah. And they could, oh, you guys are so smart. I'm so proud of you. Like, wow. I love your imaginations. It would have been so fun. Disney, you need to hire my girls. Okay, moving on, next question. Okay, cool girl 24747 also asked, what kind of Disney princess would you like to see in a Disney movie? Oh, is that even a question? Like, we we're all, I think, Mexican, yeah. so... We'd like to see a Mexican A Mexican one. princess <laughs> would be cool. Definitely. Definitely a Mexican one. Or a Latina, but yeah, for sure. Okay. Cool Girl 24747 also asked, if you could pick a new land for Disneyland to add based on a movie, what would it be? Um, we all pretty much chose the same thing, and it's the Land of the Dead from Coco. Imagine walking It'd through be that. Cool, because like, like, I already Dude. have my ride, mm-hmm. and so like imagine like a land and all Mexican food. Oh yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, that would yeah. be amazing. But can you imagine the bridge? You know, like the bridge. How it's like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I just thought about something. You know, I was just telling Dad how they should get rid of the Pacific Wharf. What if they changed that bridge into like the bridge with the Land of the Dead, and then they have like all those things, the banners mm-hmm. around that whole area, and they had like the mariachis out there. Wow. That's a good idea. That's a yeah, good I idea. feel like I would want it in a different. It would be spot. so fun. It's a good no, spot. No, it needs the, to be there. No, it's because I would want more space to work with. I have so many ideas for that The Pacific Wharf is literally the bigger. most mm-hmm. useless thing in doing <laughs> It's like the worst. I don't even know I why it's there. I just need more space to do all my work. Like you I want clam chowder. Bigger. I don't know. Go to. But I thought you wanted to do that in Disney World. Well, if they had a Coco Land. Mm-hmm. My create. Like my mind's just going land, crazy right now. Now I, I want know. But it would need to be bigger than that small area. That's a food area. Yeah. That's true. Well, look, Mexican food area. I so. need a Okay. Next question. Okay. And Franson asked, does Pizza Planet finally have a sign? Um, no. And it seriously bothers me. Every time I Trigger pass warning. by there and I look up at that <laughs> crusty sign, <laughs> I am seriously disappointed. I thought for sure by the time Pixar Fest started or the opening of Pixar Pier um, came that it would be this amazing sign. But no, you have a sign and then you have a tarp over it. Um, I don't know why they just didn't do Pizza Planet... And then have like the truck outside or something. Yeah, it like have been only. Something. Ooh, what if? Why am I thinking of all this stuff? What if they had like a taco truck, but it was the Pizza Planet truck? Oh, oh that's a good idea. They, I don't the know only why thing they didn't do that. I like about it that I <laughs> yeah, think it would be so good. good. The only thing not like taco, think, but just food. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I think is cool inside there is I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you go inside Pizza Planet, they have like these like whole things and then they have rings around them like in midway mania you know how the one game with all the aliens is the yeah. rings yeah i think that's cool we can see all the, the rings. aliens up top anyway mm-hmm. which is really cute i know i'm saying that they have the big rings just mm-hmm. like in the ride yeah like how they have that all right next question okay am am franson also asked if you could have a disney doggy as your own who would you choose doug for sure because, I mean, he would love me. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, I agree, because um, he, he always says, because, you know, I love you. Like, he always says stuff like that. Like, I love Just you. Make sure you're not taking my And he loves side. his owner. 
animal. My mom well, dogs love like, yeah. dogs. Yeah, Doug love like dogs no. do love their owners, but it Doug is different for obvious reasons. I obvious chose reasons. Doug because I would know what he's saying. Yeah, I agree with that. I wanted yeah. to say that so I, bad. I knew okay. you were going to try and so say it too. So many times, I wish I knew what the heck my dog was saying because well, she drives she'd be me crying crazy. for no reason, <laughs> well, barking for no. Re- I'm like, it's a leaf. Stop. Back to my. <laughs> it's I, the wind. Okay, I was the wind. I had two. Oh, okay. Sorry. Boy. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, you don't remember? Well, uh, I'm just saying she like totally skipped That's hard it. to remember. Okay. Sorry. Well, Max from The Little Mermaid, because I love how lovable he is. He's a he, big dog. I like how he's a big dog, and I like that he's like a shaggy Honestly, dog. though, mm-hmm. what, what other dogs are there? Oh, you know what? I, and no. he's so all goofy. Goofy. <laughs> what about Dante? Dante's cute. Oh, that's Dante. right. Well, Mia's kind of like Dante in the fact that she's got Dumb. that tongue sticking out and she's she all, looks like a rat. Uh, she looks like a rat. He probably has rabies though, so like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, short hair makes you like ooh, scratchy. It's all yeah. scratchy. No, he is not. In a, sheds. He is not a pretty doggy, that's for sure. He's, He's kind of cute. cute. All right, moving forward. Next question. Okay, Ariana's Disneyland Adventure asked, "Will you do a mini mice meetup?" Um, we've never thought of doing a mini mice meetup. Um, we didn't think anyone would actually want one. Yeah. Um, but we may be considering doing one now. I mean, if, if we had enough people interested in it, maybe. I mean, it would be fun. We lo- Honestly, I'm, it would just turn into like a, a, it, all it's of like us Tuesday, hanging out. It's like Tuesday at the bench. <laughs> That's what Honestly, I think it would be like. I mean, technically we've done it. <laughs> and we're always on time to our meetups. So. Um, well, Tuesday at the bench is pretty much, I would say, the closest thing we have to a meetup because we do have people that show up to the bench and we have fun with them. But, I mean, it would be fun no matter what because that's the one thing we love most about what we do is the interaction with people and meeting new people. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> I guess I missed something. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. Okay. To be honest. <laughs> no. Would okay. you like to share that with the rest of the class? <laughs> no. no. Okay, next question. Okay, next. OMG Marcus P asked, of course he asked this, if you had to fight a Disney villain, who would you choose to go oh. up against? I said Hans from Frozen. Who wouldn't love to punch him in the face or give him I a I would fat honestly neck? deck him so hard. I'd give him a fat Yeah, neck. I also chose Hans. I've never been more irritated with the Disney villain in my life. And I just want to slap him. Like, that's shit. And he's like, like the bare minimum. You know what I'd do to him? I'd be like, <laughs> say that again? <laughs> yeah, as the kids would oh, say, would he'd definitely fun. get a fat neck. He would get a, the fattest okay. neck. Okay, <laughs> OMG Marcus P also asked... If your favorite Disney character went to Hogwarts, what house would they be would be sorted in? Ugh. Okay. Winnie the Pooh would be a Hufflepuff because he's so sweet. He's so caring. He's not really on the brave <clears throat> side. And he's not evil. Like, he's not mean like a Slytherin. And then Ravenclaw? No, not really. It's Hufflepuff is perfect because it's like a... <laughs> all positivity which is Winnie the Pooh and then it's very like a caring because Winnie uh, Hufflepuff is more like caring for each other mm-hmm. than protecting themselves protecting e- each other which is what Hufflepuff is about and then I think that's what Winnie the Pooh is about okay <laughs> you ever been in <laughs> have you ever been in class and you're not allowed to laugh <laughs> so everything's funny <laughs> I can't help it. Oh my okay, god. Andy, okay, Andy, so it's your turn. So Dumbo, <laughs> I think, would be a Hufflepuff because he's sweet. He's Karen. he's he's not he's kinda daring, like at the end, but he's not like Slytherin, you know? Like he would and be he's a Hufflepuff. Not really, um, he's not Gryffindor. No, no. That's like always brave, brave. Yeah. Brave no. To do whatever. He's too cute and too fragile. He would mm-hmm. have to be a Hufflepuff. I can't really participate in this because, sadly, I have never seen any Cinderella of the Harry is a Potter. Slytherin. <laughs> Cinderella <laughs> is actually a Slytherin. She's savage. Okay. She stole all her stepsister's clothes. 
<laughs> um, correction. No, she didn't. Gus, Gus, and Jack did. Not her. Well, she um, was no. fine words. Literally, was cool. no. <laughs> Fantastic beast. Fantastic beast. <laughs> Honestly, well, she would Cinderella definitely is- be Slytherin. She'd be messing with you. Like <laughs> she snuck out of her house after her mom said not to. Uh, stepmother. Stepmother. Don't matter. She still disobeyed, and she was there till midnight. Dang, Dang heckle late, heckle late, and she'd be lying about the slipper fitting perfectly, like it fell off. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> Stop talking about my Cinderella. And then she lied to her stepmother. Yeah. About going out. She lied about having the slipper in the first place. She just said, oh, I was at home cleaning. Yo. <laughs> okay, moving on. Mom's Next never going to leave me home alone. Next now. question. <laughs> oh, <OMG. laughs> Where did you learn how to do that? Uh, Cinderella. Uh, I know, right? Wasn't me. OMG Marcus P <clears throat> also asked, what have you tried from Lamp Blight Lounge and what would you rate it on a scale <laughs> from one to ten? Um, we, ch- okay, when I went with Jose, we had a burger, and I don't remember what it's called, but it, it's like the only burger on there, and it's, yeah, it's, I think it's just a burger. <laughs> yeah, but I know that's called something. That's like it has a, a burger. special name. No, I'm like sure. it had a special name. <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear, <laughs> that's like saying. A cheeseburger? That's like saying, uh, I don't know. I get what you're saying. I it had saying. a name. Mm-hmm. That's just like saying the I have burger. a spicy churro. Like, what's it called? Spicy it's called churro. The caliente churro. Yeah, it's, there's a name well, for the it. Well, the caliente yeah. churro was crusty. Okay, anyways. So, no, no, it but then I, we, I also had the pokey, and that was also like a 10 out of 10 for okay, me. Okay, keep going. Um, and then the 2319, the drink, that was the best one I tried. That was really good. The infinity. I, I had some no. infinity. The 2319 was bomb. Okay. It was what like a pina the, colada. Oh, okay. It was so good. Oh, it sounds good. Without alcohol. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm telling mom without alcohol. <laughs> what? Okay. So okay. Good. I tried the not the tri tip nachos. Those are my favorite. I'd give those a ten out of ten. I love getting those. It's like my favorite every time. Mm-hmm. And then I, I got know. the drink, the Infinity Fizz. I liked it. I gave it a seven out of ten. Okay. Well, um, I've tried the tri tip nachos, and I give that probably a nine out of ten. Um, because it's always lacking, I think, the sauce that comes with it, and you always have to ask for extra. Yeah. And then when you ask for extra, you get it on your bill for an extra two four. to four dollars. Well, I'm saying just for this little, little tiny sauce. Um, but it's really good. Don't get me wrong; it's delicious. So the it loses a point for lack of sauce. Um, the mini donuts with the dipping sauce. Oh, I yeah. definitely give it uh, eight out of ten. I would say. Um, oh, yeah. The only 10 out of 10 mini donuts I've ever had are the ones on the pier For in San Francisco. For me, that's 9 out of 10. Oh, those are the best. Those are the best, hands you down. Pier 39, compete. little mini donuts, those are the best. But what makes these so good is that they come with dipping sauces, and I like that a lot. Um, and then the open ocean drink, which is the blue drink, um, 8 out of 10. It was really good. I could have been sweeter, but it was good. Okay, okay. Okay, off topic, backtrack. I just thought of something. Back to the Cinderella thing. Okay, Cinderella <laughs> broke her slipper Boy. to cut someone. What? What? Not the original. That's coming out in the... But she did, Wreck though. It, she broke too. it. <laughs> Ready to... <laughs> She's well, you push savage. a woman hard enough for long enough. If we really think about the princesses, happen. though, they're all kind of terrible. They're like, Snow White be living with seven men. <laughs> like... <laughs> I mean, so basically, all the Disney princesses <laughs> Mulan are faked yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, like, um, what else? I could go on. I mean, Belle fell in love with an animal that tried to kill her father because <laughs> he was rich. Because <laughs> he was rich. <laughs> They're all bad. The life lesson. Ariel couldn't accept oh. who she was. So, <laughs> what about Moana? Wow. She ran off with some guy. Oh All my right. gosh. Okay. Carlos Next won. Question. Disney 4 asked, if you were in the Incredibles universe, what would your superpower be? Uh, we all chose the exact same thing, and it's invisibility. invisibility. Okay. <laughs> Me, I would do invisibility, yeah, but Violet, like exactly what she has, where she has the force fields, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. She can, like, We're stop girls. We're, from like... Dying. We have to know what's going on. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> That's the, basically probably why you chose yeah, that. When you're huh? <laughs> chosen, just go invisible. Just, she just goes, go invisible. 
That's it. But I would want my clothes to go invisible. I wouldn't want it to be like an episode of SpongeBob where they have to spray themselves <laughs> if they're naked. <laughs> like, nope, not doing I that. I love that episode. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, one. last question. Here we go. <laughs> Maya 133 asked, if you had to get rid of one Disney character, who would it be and why? Um, I said, um, all the new Disney Channel characters and all the new Disney Channel shows, they're not good. Yeah, I mean... The originals. The originals are so much better. Taking it back to, like... The Anissa's. last show I liked was probably Good Luck Charlie. Oh, yeah, yeah. that was the last one I liked. But the Good new Luck ones. Charlie, Hannah Montana, the... Um, Wizards Sweet Family Life Place, Zach, Sweet Life Cody, Zach and Cody, even Cole on Sprouse. deck. Yeah, Cole Sprouse. I and mean, then, uh, that's a Raven. Like, Corey like, in the house. house. Like those were the good Disney Channel shows. It's probably more. Um, the ones I think mean, now I'm really disappointed in how a lot of them are. It's like okay, we don't even Wizards bother anymore. Place. So yeah, we don't bother anymore with that. We just leave it alone. So, yeah, I can see why Sienna would want to get rid of all the Disney Channel characters. Sorry, like, guys. Why couldn't you just do more reruns of the old ones? Okay, and he said you can get rid of one Disney character. Who would it be and why? I would honestly get rid of Darla. I mean, just let the fishy sleep. She'd be shaking the bags. I'm like, <laughs> oh. And she's just, I don't know, she's that's crusty. That's actually a really good one. I don't know why I didn't choose Fish that. Fish. That's, that's smart. Oh, my God. She literally just served. I mean, I get she had to be. You know, she had yeah. there, she didn't so that, that much of a purpose, but like all I mean, she did was like Darla's not kill the fish reason why I'm Nemo a piranha. Like <laughs> stop, she's annoying. The Amazon. Yeah, she's so annoying. Oh my god. Yeah, she was annoying. And she's scary looking. Mm. She nasty. I don't know. And then the picture. She like, crusty. Nasty. And I just think it's kind of weird though that they, he had his um, P. Sherman had his uh, no no not P. Sherman. No, P. Sherman is the dentist, right? Yeah, that's his name. Oh, um, yeah. He had a picture of Darla in his office, and she's like this with the fish, and the fish is upside down dead. Why would you have a picture of your niece holding a dead fish? <laughs> you ever think about that? But, well, because he always gave her fish. I know, but it was okay. dead. And she killed them all. I know <laughs> why. Yeah, because she killed them all, and that was the only picture she looked good in. So, <laughs> No, she don't look good in any pictures. Oh, well, which is why that was the best one. I guess. Okay, well, I chose red. Um, from the new um, Pirates of the Caribbean scene because she's crusty. I agree. So she had her crusty. She crusty. That's who I chose. Um, okay, so that's it for Start show us. questions this week. We're gonna get on. We're gonna get to our trivia winner this week. As most of you know, and those of you who don't know, we go live every night and we do some sort of Disney trivia, and um, we t- we collect points. And then we tally the points. At the end of the week, we announce our big winner. And we send them a prize. And this week's winner, first of all, thank you Winners. to everybody who enjoyed. I mean, who enjoyed. <laughs> who Sorry, joined. I enjoyed. Uh, thank you to everybody who joined this week to participate in all of our trivias. We had a blast with you guys. Um, so, see you are the winners. Okay. Um, in third place is Elaine and Amy. Elaine and Amy. Woo! Yay! Thanks for participating well, this week. In second place is OMG Marcus P. OMG yeah, Marcus, Marcus P. Second place. Thank you, Marcus. And our winner is winner Ariana's Disneyland Adventures. Yay! Ariana's Disneyland Ariana. Adventures. Good Thank job. you so much for participating this week. We had a blast with you. You killed it on trivia this week. Um, we appreciate. Good. Um, the support, and we have a lot of fun interacting with you. And thank you for being so kind this week, asking about my yeah. finger after I cut it. <laughs> so you are such a sweetheart. We appreciate it. And um, if you could DM us your information, and we'll get a prize over to you as soon as possible. So thank Ooh-hoo. you. Um, that concludes episode 15 of The Mini Mice. We thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, or Google Play. For those of you watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, we are The Mini Mice Show. Be sh- make sure you check us out at The Mini Mice on all social media. Uh, this is The Mini Mice sounding off. Until next time, be kind and spread some magic. Bye. Don't be crusty. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Oh, scary.